Beside me is the brand new VH3500 Soda Blast. This is just one of the cabinet options that we have for our brand new soda blasting lineup. If you're unfamiliar with what soda blasting is, it's essentially sandblasting, but we use a sodium bicarbonate blasting particle. And what that allows you to do is guarantee that there is no media left behind after blasting. The reason that is, is that soda is actually water and oil soluble. So that means after you finish blasting, if you rinse the part down or you put it back to use, it will actually disintegrate as you're using it. Speaking of disintegration, that's one of the downsides of soda blasting. Soda is a single use abrasive, so after it impacts the part, it is completely turned into dust and it's pulled into the dust collector to be disposed of. So it is a more expensive media to use, but the peace of mind of knowing that you're never going to have abrasive left in your parts is worth the cost. Now in our vapor honing machines, we've been using soda blasting for years. Of course, with soda being water soluble, you have to super saturate it inside of a wet blasting cabinet. One of the benefits of wet soda is that it becomes a multiple use abrasive. Now it doesn't last as long as something like a glass bead, but inside of a vapor honing cabinet, again, you can use that abrasive again and again. The downside is it's nowhere near as effective as it is in dry soda. And that's because you lose a lot of the actual impact force because of the cushioning of the water. Now with dry soda, even though it is much more aggressive, if you will, than wet soda, it will not damage your actual metal components. So if you have something that is delicate, like a brass or an aluminum, it doesn't matter what you do inside of a soda blasting cabinet, you do not have to worry about damaging that component. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna take this gear, which we've actually soda blasted the right-hand portion, but I'm actually gonna show you guys some blasting footage with this left-hand side. And you can actually see how quick this soda blasting machine can actually remove all of this grime that's left on this part. So I hope that showed up on camera how quick that actually was. Now again, this thing has been sitting in a junkyard and it's, it was actually made in the 90s. So that grease and grime was definitely on there. But again, soda blasting has no problem, especially in a dry soda environment. Another thing that I hope showed up well on video is just how easily you can actually see inside of this cabinet. Now specifically with this VH3500 variant, you have four LED light bars in here. And that's one thing that we only use in our cabinets is LED lighting because of how much light you can actually produce. Another big thing is, again, we have incredibly high CFM dust collection. So this is pulling the correct amount of CFM through this machine because especially with soda, because of it actually breaking apart and immediately turning into dust, you have to be moving a lot of CFM through the machine. Now, a lot of other competitors try and get by with using a similar style dust collector as what they have on their sandblasters, but that doesn't work well in our experience. You have to have as much CFM as possible again, just to draw that dust out of the cabinet. Another thing with soda being single use, you can easily just drop that soda out of the dust collector whenever you're finished and dispose of it with your state regulations in mind. But it's very easy to actually get that soda out of this cabinet. It's also easy to load it. So with our machines, with the soda blasters, there's no need for a reclamation system, but we still use the same style reclamation hopper. That way you can actually feed the abrasive in here easily. One more thing I want to mention is that all of our soda blast machines come with a pressure pot rather than a siphon. This is so that you get consistent abrasive feed and honestly your results are just going to be much more efficient this way. Again, this is the VH3500 soda blast and you can always get soda blasting in any of the sandblasting configuration models that we already have. For more questions or to actually get one of these machines in your shop today, you can call us 828-202-5563. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to be releasing a lot of content on soda blasting shortly and it's going to be incredibly informational for you guys. So again, make sure you stay tuned. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a good day. Peace.